you know you can actually build a great life? You can build your life? Yep, but you have to start with really good foundations. Foundations, like on a building. That's right. If you start with a good base on the bottom, then you can build things on the top and it will be secure and strong. It's the same with our lives. So how do we get strong foundations for a great life? Well, it starts with our faith in God. What do we believe in? Hi guys, my name is Alana and I'll be asking people at church questions. Who is God? God is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, which is Jesus Christ, the Father and the Holy Spirit, all in one. God is powerful, God is all-knowing, and God is everywhere. Who is Jesus? Jesus died on the cross for us. Jesus is the Savior. He forgives all of our sins. He's our healer, our protector, our provider. He's uh, the King of Kings. <laughs> he looks after us. Everything we do, he looks after us. This is my brother, and I'm going to ask him, where is God? God is right there in your heart. He is in everyone's heart who accepts him. And God is also up in heaven, where we will be if we live out a good life. What went wrong? Sin came when we decided not to trust God. Knowing the answers to these questions builds a strong foundation for our life. For we're building on the rock of Jesus to last all eternity. Yeah, we're building and it's fun for you and me Yeah, it's fun for you and me Every tool that we're given is a gift from heaven And so we build on the Bible, it's our sure foundation Not for us, but for Him, yeah, we're gonna praise Him Cause building is fun But we're building on the rock of Jesus To last all eternity yeah, we're building and it's fun for you and me Yeah, it's fun for you and me We don't build for the world, yeah, we build this kingdom Every hammer, every nail, Jesus is our reason Not for us, but for Him, yeah, we're gonna praise Him Cause building is fun But we're building on the rock of Jesus To last all eternity yeah, we're building and it's fun for you and me Yeah, it's fun for you and me Yeah, it's fun for you and me Hi kids, today we're in Auckland City Today we're going to check out the city Come on, let's go! That is so, oh, 
Oh, well, I think it's construction Utilizing building. That's yeah. That's good. Whoa. 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 Damn, what is this? That's, that's so, so, that's so maybe cool. Maybe it absorbs <laughs> all so that tall. shade. And maybe the others just crack and topple over. It's like taller than me. Oh, yeah. ready? Yeah. Let's do it. What right. are they doing now? Going back to a really safe distance. <gasps> I think they're going to blow it up. I want that immunity so badly. Who's to say that our technique is the wrong technique? Probably an engineer. Probably. That's who. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> right, oh, take they're going to... level one, where you'll last for 10 seconds. In three, they're two, gonna... one. Oh, that's good. Holding fine. <gasps> It moves. It literally. Yes, it works. I think that's how they just said it moves. Two. They're making, they're making it move, and it literally right. stays that's up. So cool. Look at that tail. Still surviving. How is that? You're that's gonna fall. What? Sharks are. Oh. Oh. No. I'm so nervous. Still surviving. It's favoring that level. Okay. 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 It's level four. Okay. Yeah. It's like falling. Oh no no no! Wait, it was just the top. The sharks fell at us. Whoa! <laughs> it's Lee Boeing! You've hacked the system! <laughs> Seven! Seven! Oh, it's so sad to go. It's just like, like I'm like, oh, that. Oh, it's gonna fall over soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh wait, it's still it's up. Still it's still up. up. It's still up. Oh, oh. Whoa. No, it's so good. That's a loop Boeing. That's like loop Boeing. Like wow. I'm amazed. It hung in there till seven, guys. Yes. That, that. What kind impressive. of design was that, Mom? Wow. Like, how was that? Hey, it's beast? missing two sides. We made seven a lot better than I expected. I'm hoping that it's enough to get us through to the end. I can't believe it survived so long. Ah, uh, yes. Very flexible. That like was wobbling. Flex. That, it was like th this. We guys are supposed to go like this. When they go, go like that, it's supposed to fall over. But technically, like holds it in. It was and wobbling. It was back. like it was like doing limbo. It was like oof. that was insane. It but, didn't even fall. And then when like it was that. going, it was like, well, yeah, it was like, like jelly. <laughs> and then when it stopped, it was like that. It was like, it's it's like, just stayed there. And when it is, it was like wobbling. Yeah. And I never thought Lego could do that because it's like so strong. Yeah. But it actually like, t it was like, it was like jello. It was like, like that. <laughs> Probably just built correctly, designed the way it should have been. I mean, the people even said they were amazed that it lasted that long. I think it was just the design that made it so flexible and the strength of the bricks and the placement. It didn't have a strong foundation, the entire thing yeah. collapsed. Even like, yeah, like a strong inside as well from the middle. That could hold it for a long time. He's like gonna have a good life with it. Of the man building up the sand and the rock, but yeah. the rock is stronger it's than like the sand. It's like the sand and it like rains and then yeah. it's like gonna sink. But if the rock, it's like, it's not gonna sink. It's, it's gonna stay there. And if you have a good foundation, then you can have a good life because like you, you have, have a solid foundation building. to help you live. We can stand strong and even when we're under pressure or like this example, an earthquake, we don't topple over and collapse under the danger or Satan or whatever. We stand strong in God. Thanks so much for watching, kids. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, kids. It's so good to be here with you guys again. Guess what? I've got two Lego houses here with you guys today. They're pretty cool. What do you think? Now, this house over here, I mean, it has a very big, strong, solid foundation. But why is this even important? Why spend all this time building something that the people aren't even going to see? Well, imagine we push this house over with the really big, strong foundation. It's not even going to move. It's not even going to wobble a little bit. But if we try to push the other house over that does not have a strong foundation, it's going to fall right over without barely even having to touch it. You see kids, our foundation is really important. It says in 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9 that we are like God's buildings to Him. I know, how cool is that? And it also said that God gives us His grace, which is His strength, that we need to build our houses like master builders. And a master builder always builds a very strong foundation. So how can you know what your foundation is made of? Well, you just have to ask yourself one question. Who do you put your trust in? You know, the best thing is to put your trust in God because putting your trust in people or the things around you isn't good because they will always let you down. But God actually tells us in the Bible that we need to rely on Him. 
because He sticks closer than a brother and He will always be there for us whenever we need His help. So where should we go when times get scary? Or when you're worried or afraid? Or how do you know who to put your trust in? You can always put your trust in God. You can always rely on Him because He'll always carry you through to the other side. The Bible tells us a very cool story about two men who each built a house. The first man decides to build his house on the sand, whereas the second man decides to build his house on the rocks. Now one day, a big storm came and the wind started blowing and the rain was pouring down and the house on the sand got completely washed away, whereas the house built on the rock stayed firm and strong because it had a strong foundation. Now, you see, this is just like our lives. God wants us to have a strong foundation. We should make sure that Christ is our rock and that we rely on Him so that when things go hard or when we have a rough time, we know that God is our rock and we can rely on Him, that He will always be faithful and trustworthy. Now it's time to pray, kids. Thank you, Lord. We pray for this amazing story that we've learned and we pray that we would learn to put our trust in You so that we can rely on You because we know that You are faithful and trustworthy and that You will never leave us nor forsake us. And thank You, God, that You know every thought we have, whether we're worrying or whether we don't know who to put our trust in. Thank You, Lord, that we would know that it is You who stays faithful to us and trustworthy no matter what happens. It was so much fun hanging out with you kids today. Well, I'm afraid our time is up. Bye, kids. Above all else we say your name is great. He lifted 